everyone. Today, I want to go over five things that I love about Japan. Now, if you're studying Japanese or if you're thinking about studying Japanese, these things might help you to get interested in Japan. Now, when you learn the language, it's not just about the language. You can learn the language, but you've got to really learn about the culture and the country and all these little things that are part of the country to really learn the language. And the reason is, when you just learn the language, it's just like grammar and words and vocab. And that's kind of boring. But when you start to put those in and learn those in context, it's so much more interesting. So I'm going to share five things that I love about Japan. Let's have a look. Number one, one of the main things that I love about Japan is the food. Now, I grew up in Australia eating Australian food, which is kind of like a British styled food, but then very heavily influenced from many other cultures. Now, coming to Japan, it's a very different diet. And I love the food here. One of the reasons I love it so much is that it's so much cheaper. It's also very healthy. For example, I can go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger meal, walk away and feel sick. Or after that same price, I can go to somewhere like Skia or Yoshinoya and get something that's so much more healthy and so much cheaper. The food here is so good. Now, the only way I can express that to you is to just come to Japan and experiment with it. Now, if you don't live in Japan, there are so many Japanese restaurants outside of Japan that you can actually go and start eating and trying different Japanese foods. There are so many yummy foods here. One of my favorite things is actually to try different foods. And recently, I actually did a video that's on YouTube that you can have a look. Uh, I went and tried an udon vending machine super cool to try and eat noodles from a vending machine. I don't know if I'd call that healthy, but it was worth a try. There are so many yummy, delicious foods here. The best thing you can do is just try it. And when you look at something, you might think, well, that looks scary. There is no way I'm going to eat that food. But if you try it, you'll be amazed. Just recently, actually, to prove a point, at work, they had these beautiful bento lunch boxes. And I opened it up and I was like, uh oh, that looks a little scary. But I tried and I ate everything. It was delicious. Even things that I thought、mm, not too keen on was actually really delicious. So the best thing you do is try anything and everything you can when you come to Japan. The food is delicious and it's healthy. The second thing that I love about Japan is the scenery. Now, I live in Nagano, which is. About an hour and a half bullet train ride from Tokyo, about three, four hour drive. And it's in the mountains and it is stunning. So, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is, it is beautiful. So, it might be April, which is just what we're starting to get into. And you have the beautiful cherry blossoms. That then goes into summer and everything is green and lush. It is a little hot, but it's beautiful. Then it goes into autumn. The leaves all change color and it's beautiful. Then you get to winter and it's white. I love the seasons here. It is stunning. And actually, Japan has a secret season. So usually you get your four distinct seasons, but they also have a fifth season, which isn't really a season as such, but it is. And it's called the wet season. And that's when it rains a lot. It's usually quite sticky and hot, but it's still a nice time to get out, go for a walk. And experience the beautiful scen scenery here. One of the cool things is that with each season comes different activities that you can do. And also, one of the really cool things, and this kind of goes back to food, is that Japan is a seasonal country. And with that, you get seasonal foods. So, in the middle of the summer, it's very hard to buy apples. That is not a summer food, but you can get watermelons, and they are delicious. But it's not just fresh fruit and vegetables, it's also the unhealthy things like drinks and snacks and chips and lollies and all those things. They're also seasonal, in that each season they'll come out with new flavors, new varieties that you can try all throughout the year. So you can enjoy different flavors of things all throughout the year that you can only get in that particular season. If you ever get a chance to come to Japan, really it doesn't matter what time of year you come. 
there are so many things you can do you can enjoy and experience while you're here number three the japanese culture i love the japanese culture it might seem like it's kind of a simple culture to some people, but it's actually very complicated. There are so many things involved with the culture, and that is because it's thousands and thousands of years old. The Japanese culture is very rich, and it's ingrained into the everyday lifestyle that people live. And with that, there's so many cultural activities and cultural things you can do and observe when you come in and visit uh, Japan. Now, if you can't come and visit Japan straight away, that's fine. There's so many videos you can learn that will teach you about the Japanese culture. Number four, and this is kind of an obvious one perhaps, but it's the language. I love the Japanese language and I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be studying or wouldn't be trying to share what I know about Japan and the language if it wasn't for the language. Well, I started when I was 12 years old and I'm still here over 20 years later. I love the language. I particularly love kanji. I love studying and learning new characters. I love being able to pull a character apart and learn its meaning. And that's one of the things that people complain about all day, say, oh no, when it comes to learning Japanese, but that's going to be one of the biggest hurdles you're going to face. Yes and no. Yes, there are a lot of kanji, but I don't know if it's going to be a big hurdle if you look at it in the correct way. And often people look at Japanese, especially kanji, and think, oh, it's impossible. And that's also the kind of way that it gets taught, that it's this impossible thing to learn. And I've done a whole course and I've written a book on how to learn kanji in five simple steps. It's not that difficult if you look at it in the correct way. Kanji is actually quite simple when you pull it apart and actually look at it. But kanji is not just the language. There's a lot of other things. And the language is also kind of mixed in with the culture. And that's why the language is so interesting and rich, is that it's not just the language, it also encompasses all the cultural aspects. So it's kind of cool. Language is so much fun to learn and study, as long as you take it one step at a time. And I actually go through in another book that I've written about all of the tools and things that you need or I wish I had a known when I first started learning Japanese. So if you're interested, you can check it out in the link below uh, and have a look at all the things that I wish I had have known before I started learning Japanese. Okay, now for number five. And this is kind of an interesting one, but I love to draw and illustrate and design. And I love the cuteness culture that Japan has. And you might be thinking, what, Japan? It's not really a cute culture, is it? Well, yes, it actually is. Everything here is cute. From the cars, to the way people dress, to the characters that people you see everywhere. So like the anime characters, the cartoon characters, the logos, the designs, the things that people use. It's all designed to be cute. And this even goes to big businesses, to the mascots that they have, to signs that they have on their buildings. It's all designed to be cute. Japan is a very cute society. So they are the top five things that I love about Japan. Number one, the food. Number two, the scenery. Number three, the culture. Number four, the language. And number five, the cuteness. So that's it. The top five things that I love about Japan. What do you love about Japan? Leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any other videos that we put out there. This year is going to be an amazing year. There's so many things I have planned and I'm excited to start sharing with you over the coming months. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos that we share.